I know when I was working for the man and and uh, you know we would work eight hours you know just what society somehow some way manipulated us to think that well, that's what we got to do uh, I would eat lunch man and I'd be at my desk and I'd be ready to pass out I mean it would be it was the longest stretch from 12.30 or so to 5. Oh my God. Rough, man. A decent rain man oh my gosh that that's that's a that's a freaking thousand fifteen hundred dollars right there good thing huh <laughs> looks like i'm gonna need it huh that's a good tire man i don't know what there's got to be something in it i haven't seen anything but I, but yesterday afternoon what i did is i went to the gas station and filled the skid steer up with fuel man this is this is muddy up here that means we got some rain all right man oh my gosh yeah and i got a spare tire a brand new tire y'all see it i don't know if y'all can see it it's underneath them wheelbarrows over there it's brand new so i'll be doing that today too probably okay y'all good morning good morning it's uh monday morning man monday morning man and we are Headed over to the first one at 7.30. Uh, we got a lot to do today. Uh, the, we did get a little bit of rain uh, the last few evenings and, you know, just a little bit of rain in general. Uh, so, we have about 900 on the list today. So, we've got a pretty good bit to do. Uh, and a lot of, you know, not just how many to do, but we got a lot of where we're zigzagging a little bit like i've been telling you guys we're not being all we can be as far as efficiency goes but we need to we need to go and knock these out and uh so we got a lot to do this week in general so we're gonna stick it moving all of them i said all of them we got two over here in the neighborhood uh, so and I'm having to fill in just a little bit uh, uh, from other routes and stuff that we've missed and uh, and all that. So the routing is a little bit more, uh, you know, not very good time management and all that. I mean, we're doing the best time management that we can based on what where the work is and all that. So go 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 this week and it ain't been like that you know it's been kind of more had a slow road a little bit so uh, but we got that tree job in last week so that really made up for all the yard we haven't done in the last you know 10 days or so but everybody's back to needing it now i believe considering we did skip so we really only lost one rotation so and we're real early, man. I gotta, I gotta get to it though. All right, y'all. So there's one, and then two is the other one over there, front and back, both properties. So, yeah, it's all right. We gotta time things out though. Now, especially because uh, we're not doing all the properties. So, uh, I got the accelerated bagger with me today. Uh, it's 8 30 man so it, i mean an hour over there is a pretty good while but he's been gone for 20 minutes 25 minutes so uh yeah i gotta i gotta grab a check from this other this lady left a check on the mat over here it's a hundred dollars man i'm gonna come swing by there and grab it real quick because toby's got to go do two I gotta go do one, so my thinking was he'd help me get going on these two, get to a certain point, then I send him on his way. Uh, and he's got a little more driving to do than I do, 
so uh, yeah it's uh well it's, it's a totally another it's a totally different method here because of the we're not doing all the properties we're doing you know uh, it's, it's kind of complicated to really because every yard still don't need it so I've compiled a week of work that I that I haven't had no resistance yet from uh, any customer that is on this list today so but what we get done with today directly reflects what we're going to be doing the rest of the week you know if a mower goes down or anything happens then uh, things will be changed up we'll change it up but uh, we definitely uh, are back to cutting grass right so let me pull down in here and granted hers needs it too see she's been trying to play a lot of games with Ray she said hers don't need it and it does we're going to be over here doing this one I mean you know it needs it bad I mean it's bad I mean damn dude you kidding me and she's still this lady right here I've done a lot of work thousands of dollars worth of work for her and she still don't know my and can't get my last name right. I've been doing hers for so long. Uh, she puts on there on the check, Ray up to up, uptown. Yes, me. Ray uptown landscaping. I just deposited the check, same as same as always. Nobody, ain't nobody ever said nothing. Okay. So that's 150 out of the way. Now uh, I'm going over here. This next one I'm going to is an 80, and it may not even need it. But I got to go right by there. Uh, it's Bermuda grass, and he sometimes he sprinkles, sometimes he don't. You never know. But he's been sprinkling. It's going to need it. Was it's been. But if I have to damn do. Uh, one of them I need to do the other one or the other one is going to be two more weeks before I can do it I'm not I'm not like I said I don't know back a couple weeks ago I'm not changing up everything uh, because of a trial uh, you know as far as some of the yards are just going to be a way out like by law today's the first so right around now is when I would do the HOA right here right well, see, that's a good thing about having a properties like the HOA, uh, along with all the other properties I got, is I can maneuver it around because they're going to pay for two cuts this month. And normally I would be trying to get it out of the way, but right now I'm not going to try to get it out of the way. I got all these loans I didn't do last week onto this week. So now uh, you can just about reset everything that you had set. If there were some things before this drought, if, if there were some things before the drought that, like, as far as the routing goes, that you didn't like the way, oh, man, I think we could do it better than that. Because I'm always thinking like that. Can we, how could we do it better? So I don't even know if we're going to make it over here to the HOA this week. I really don't want to do it this week. Uh, it needs to be on next week. But this week's going to be heavy already. So we need to put this one on next week because last week was lightweight. And we had we spent you know uh, well one day we had off the other day we uh, day and a half we spent uh, you know fooling with that tree and the, and the dump and all that uh, so next week we'll have days next week we'll have nothing to do because two weeks prior to that we were doing the tree job I mean it, it, I don't know you have to be doing what I'm doing to really understand what I'm saying and I know most guys that watch the channel, you know, either they have done this before or they are planning on doing it or whatever. See, this HOA is not looking good, man. And this is the first, and they've already paid me. I need to get, I, you know. So I may start on the HOA after hours. Uh, we need to get everything, I, I'm not gonna get too sidetracked, but we need to get everything on this list done. This list right here. So that's the only thing that really even matters is my list. And we got two of them out of the way already in this 830. So, yeah. And I know.
know the videos uh, of late haven't been, you know, they've been kind of long and mouthy. But sometimes it's just how it's just what you get sometimes, you know. Uh, I'm kind of hoping this first, this Premier Yard over here ain't grown none. That'll really set us up to be able to uh, fly through the uh, route. I might end up, we might, man, I don't want to cut the HOA this sweet, but it look, it's looking kind of tall, so. But what I like about stuff like that HOA is I can, I don't have to do it on, you know, every other Tuesday or every other Monday or whatever. We can, I can fudge around with that one because number one, uh, it's close to my house. Anything that's further away, you got to be routing in order to save money. Not just money on you know, gas. That's not really. It's more about time and everything syncing up like it should when you, when when uh, we get to a job where we need both 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 people. But I know that this guy right here with the 71 acres, he's going to want us to cut that grass again. Cause it's tall. It's real tall. Well, it's been a, it's been three weeks, four weeks, and he ain't got or it ain't Bermuda grass. It ain't crazy bad, but it's pretty tall. Yeah. The spray I put on that fence really helped. But see, I was over here on Friday morning. Was it Friday? Even though it was Thursday morning, I was over here and I did one of the ones on today's route. Another, this is one of the full Bermuda yards that I do, uh, and they do irrigate on this one. Uh, so that's number. Well, that's the third one that I've been on, and Toby's uh, probably doing. Uh, I don't know where he's probably on the second one here. Now I'm going over to this three acres over here. Took me about 40 minutes, about the same as usual. I do it the same way every time. Uh, pr pretty much got it down to a science. Uh, this time, with it being so dry, you know, uh, and and hot, the weeds are not growing as hardcore. I know that sounds backwards, but they're not. Uh, so these are nice. These are nice lots over here. I, I mean, if I'm gonna do what I consider a smaller property that's in the neighborhood, these are the ones I had rather do than the little bitty cookie cutter ones. So, somebody done called me. This is the guy that owns 70 acres. Hey, Ray. What's going on, man? My, I guess my question is, on a regular, will, will you, can you just do something? What, what is the minimum amount of rayness <laughs> well what are so they're a ray uh, visit once a month you know well i'm, assu I'm assuming i'm yeah. assuming that the spray work is good around all the buildings as it did on the fence line sure. because I'm, I, the same, I, I I'm assuming that yeah because uh, yeah. so i haven't pulled down in there so and we don't have to cut between the crepe myrtles right we're just talking no, yeah, about sure. we're just talking so what all do you want us to cut on the regular the front the, uh, the the two fields blast, just blast through the front nail that front field the front along the road you know both yeah. sides the front the front so it doesn't look abandoned because if the front is done you don't have to cut between the crepe myrtles just um yeah and, and yeah, it shouldn't front. need it i mean i cut all that last time you know uh it shouldn't need <clears> it. what I, uh, I mean, what i charged last you know, time a, a whole bunch hit me with five, 500. I think I like 300 on a regular. 300 on a regular? Yeah, but that's once a month, dude. I mean, that's not to have to yeah. worry about it is worth that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I, I get you, and I, I, I agree with you. And I, I would and I would spray as needed on the fence line. But we're only yeah. talking about I, two or three more cuts for the end of the year if you're doing it monthly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say let's, let's do it. Okay, so... You just drive your equipment. I mean, you could be in and out in a couple hours, yeah. right? Yeah. Which, which is fine. 
Well, it'll be just be mowers. Stuff. I'm not bringing skid steer over there. We're just going to run lawn mowers. No, no, I get it. You're but we want to keep, keep it in lawn mower range and not skid steer range. That's skid steer. That, that, <laughs> that is, that is totally, that is totally correct. That's because. exactly why I'm, I'm talking to you now. Right. To do that because I don't want to, um, I don't want it to get out of control. And I had my, and then I had my buddy like once a year, my friend Russ, um, who's now too old. You know, with his tractor, help me with heavy stuff. You got to get some younger buddies, man. I do need younger buddies. <laughs> yeah, it's just too old. The younger people don't work though. You know, right, yeah, they, they don't they're work. Sorry, man. They ain't got nothing. They ain't never gonna have nothing. I don't even know how the hell they're even gonna. Yeah. yeah. They're waiting on people like me to die so somebody can give them some. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm, all right, man. I'll I'll, I'll okay, text you when I'm. Just hit it, and then you know. Um, I'll send you some pictures, yeah, I, and then and can we do a Venmo or something so I don't have to chase no money or nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, All right. Sure, sure. And yeah, then, and then you know, just do whatever you feel like. You know, the front obviously is the priority. And outside the fence. Couple, outside the fence, and then just the take fence. a couple of swipes back by the shed, but you don't have to go crazy, crazy. Wherever right. you feel you're done, it's three hundred bucks. You know? Right, and, and, I, you and ride, I, I'm gonna keep spraying around all them buildings, dude. That's yeah, the best great. way to yeah. manage. No, I got you, though. We'll see you, buddy. All right. Later. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys. Thanks, bye. So that's another uh, job. It's going to be 300. It'll probably take us about an hour and a half over there. Two men. So I like that. I like 300, man. I think 300 is a good deal for him and for me. Once a month, well, it's understood that once if we're doing it once a month, that uh and it's not a manicured lawn or nothing we don't even have to weed eat so it's just about running the machine so we're, we're gonna have to take that work it's good work i know i say i don't like i don't do monthlies but uh if they're paying right i will and this time of year with the drought and all that we've been in i'm taking all work i'm moving the goalpost, if you will you have to but uh, let me get going on this one so when uh toby gets over here he's got a place to park and all that there. Deuces. So, uh, we're at like 500 bucks and it's 1045. Like 480. But well, we're, I mean, we're fixing to be at six because this one right here is, he's already over here getting started on it. Uh, and then I'm, I'm gonna come uh, cut the back part and then he's gonna go I'm going to incorporate another one on today too that I was really was supposed to do on Saturday, but uh, when everything was so dry. But we got a little bit of rain since then, so I need to go on and do that other one to keep them on the same schedule. Even though it's not the most efficient for me today, but it's going to have to work out. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So uh, we are way on down the list now. Uh, I penciled this one in, and it's a little bit of a drive. No, I mean, you know, 10 minutes from where we're at. But I need to go on and do this one. This is the one, they don't like me to work on Sunday at their place. They So Saturday, when I didn't do it, I knew it would be Monday or Tuesday. It's really costing me a pretty, you know, well, it's costing us an extra, I don't know, hour of time and probably 50 or 60 dollars in fuel from the being inefficient the way we're having to do stuff we got to get things to where we can get them back to somewhat of an order so you got to do the ones that are allowing us to do them yeah i said it for real but most of the yards that got skipped were all last week and we're not doing them this week we're not. I mean, some of them we are, but for the most part, whole routes that we skipped, we're not doing them this week either. They're going to be get. Right now, I'm doing work from two weeks ago. So. Hoping that some people will let me come on Thursday. I might have to find all that out. 
Thursday being the fourth, you know, some people might not even want you to come, you know. You don't mind, you know, I don't know. Okay, man, so that little bit of rain that we've been getting in the afternoon, just a little here, a little there, it's really helped because we, uh, we did everything on the list here except for one. And the only reason why we didn't do that because I can't get a check from them today, and I and I might and they didn't need that bad, and we're around that area all the time anyway. So the list is kind of the same uh, this morning. So the extra one that I did out in Sharpsburg, uh, well, that just makes up for the one we didn't do right here. But I'd rather if I'm not going to do one, I'd rather be right here than far away or you know further away. I need to change the blades on this mower. See, plan's coming together. He's, I'm feeling better and better about him. My new guy, you know, he ain't really new no more, but you know. I'm feeling a lot better about him doing some of the properties that I wasn't feeling very good with to begin with. So, you know, and our timing and all has been impeccable. I said impeccable. Yeah, he understands exactly what, what, I, what, it is to be efficient and to make every move count and to move with a purpose on everything that he does. He understands that. I mean, he he, he pretty much knew that coming in. And that's what, if you, as long as you got that mindset, then I can work with everything else. Yeah. But he had that mindset and he knows what he's doing too. So, of course, everybody not going to do things exactly like I do them, and that's okay. As long as I don't get no complaints for nothing. Like, the property he's on right now, and he's got one more tiny one to do. Uh, and that's it for me. I'm not doing no more today. I'm done. Well, see, I did some yesterday to put us in this scenario today. If I don't do, if I don't do a few, the few little uh, yards yesterday, than I did, then we're not in this scenario today. And I, I've done, I've been doing that the whole time I've been in business. Uh, over the weekend, on most weekends, on most weekends, I'll go do one or two properties, you know, that are kind of off the beaten path, not, you know. Uh, well, we got a lot done today and we could do more, but see, if we do any more than what we're doing, like say today, we have to eat lunch and then, and then, and then come back out. And you know, I can do that and I've done that many, many times, you know, I mean, but once I, once I saw that I can manage my money in a way to where I didn't have to work till four or five o'clock every day. Um, and on some jobs we simply do work longer. Uh, but most of the time on the mowing maintenance, we don't work any later than, you know, 2.30 or so. But we're not taking a lunch. We're not stopping at the store. We're not doing any of that. So you you take that away from other guys that are always coming at me talking about, you, you work till five. You know, they ain't working like we working. They ain't. I guarantee you. They, st they, they stopping at the store a couple times. They damn eating. Uh, they stopping at the La Fiesta, eating lunch. You know, I don't, want, I don't like to eat lunch or come back out here and work. I don't. I'd rather go a little longer in the morning because contrary to what people might think, everybody's production goes down after they eat lunch. In this heat, it does. We can say it don't, but I know it does. I don't want to do anything after I get done eating. Uh, not where I'm, you know, mandated to be sticking and moving. I like to get all my hard work done in the early morning before lunchtime, you know, uh, Last week we had a couple of uh, days where I didn't get home to four, you know, with the skid steer in the tree and the dump and all that. But on the lawn maintenance, oh no, lawn maintenance stuff is uh, is set is, is pretty much set in stone. Even though we're doing it a little bit different this rotation, it's still the same yards, you know. We're just not doing them. Instead of us doing Judy Poo and Tooty Twos uh, today. We're doing Judy Poos and Tootie Poos and Foodie Poos today. 
So, but production seems to go way down after I eat. I, I know when I was working for the man and, and uh, you know, we would work eight hours, you know, just what society somehow, some way manipulated us to think that well, that's what we got to do. Uh, I would eat lunch, man, and I'd be at my desk and I'd be ready to pass out. I mean, it would be, it was the longest stretch from 12.30 or so to 5. Oh my God, rough, man, rough. That, I'd rather be out here in the damn heat than sitting at a damn desk uh, about to fall asleep watching, looking at the freaking clock all afternoon. See, out here, the, the, the clock, I look at it, but I'm a master of the clock. I can damn, I can project really good, and I should be able to, I've been doing it a long time. I can project really good on how long it's gonna take us. Nobody, I, I mean, most people will see this list and they'll say there's no way you're going to get done by two when you look at the addresses the uh, where they're located uh, compared to where the other one, the previous one and the one after it is i knew when i put this list together because i, I because i'm very good at managing my time and my my business's time uh i knew that we'd be done before two and we would be done before too if we did everything on the list and I went out and did uh, that extra one. That's how efficient we are. You gotta know that though. So. All right, man, so we're right at 900. Uh, it's two o'clock, we're done. Uh, yeah, pretty good day, man. Anytime two people can hit 900 now we do have two trucks you know that that does cost a little bit more but the way my routes are and, and the location of everything uh, every yard is is within i mean every single yard that we do is within 20 miles but if we're going out to the father's yard well we're going to do all the other ones that are on the way there and on the way back so, uh, have, you know, I, I know there's a lot of people say, man, you don't even need two trucks. Yeah, but if I didn't have two trucks out here, we, I guarantee you we'd be uh, working until, uh, yeah, four or five, probably. We would be because we couldn't, be, because we're not ever doing two things at once, you know? And on the yards, way the routes and everything are you would think okay well if you got somebody with you Ray then if it takes you 30 minutes then uh, you can do it in 15 but that's not it doesn't work like that it, it doesn't uh, if I can do a yard in 40 minutes solo having someone with me uh, probably do it in 30 minutes now that's a significant time and it ain't nothing that that they're doing or i'm doing it's just the way things are because uh the mower has got to mow the grass and and you can't that that's where your bottleneck at 